this is up, Nikki. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. We want to go ahead and go to avrfreaks.net www.avrfreaks.net and what you want to do is you want to search for Windows 8.1 compilation error and you're gonna put it in your search box like that and then just search for it and this will come up what you're looking for this guy Sebaster is good so what you're looking for is his post www mad wizard or downloads and he's telling you that this goes in the utils bin directory you may not know what he's talking about at this point but we're going to get to it that's it okay so and you're looking for the msys-1.0 zip go ahead and save it I already have it so you go ahead and save it and I really like this little splash screen and this Eclipse version is a lot better than what we've been working with if you have done some of the other IDEs that I went through how to get loaded now we're just waiting for this because you really can't do too much of anything other than getting off of this welcome screen you might want to look into some of this stuff here. It's up to you. Okay. So, we can X off this welcome screen. So, let's go ahead and X off of it. And as you can see, we have our Arduino buttons now. The plugin really does nicely compare to the other versions. But, of course, this is an improvement and that's why they released it. We're done with this part, so now we could go ahead and open the project and see if we're good. So you want to go to New Other. You want to click on your Arduino there, so click on the arrow, and then New Arduino Sketch. Make sure that you have your microcontroller plugged in at this point, and you want to click Next. You want to name your project. I'm going to name my project One. Okay, and then you want to click next. All right, so you're going to come up on this screen, provide the Arduino information. These settings can be changed later. So go ahead and click on your arrow, and you should see something below. And I'm going to click on it. Then you want to go down and choose your board. Of course, I'm on the Uno. Leave that as default, and then pick your port number. Okay, if you don't have a port, there's another good reason about a book because it explains how to get past that. Also, you can look at my videos and they'll show you how to get past that as well. We try to get through this quickly. So let's go ahead and click on next. Okay, so you're going to see default INO and this is a really nice addition because from here you could go right into the library so let's go ahead and click on here and we want to go sample sketch now scroll down a little bit we want to go to our examples you should be recognizing this and let's click the arrow again we want to click on blink and finish okay this kind of project is associated with Arduino Perspective. Do you want to open this perspective now? We want to click yes. Okay. So what you'll see is your new project, whatever you named it, whatever board you're using, and whatever COM you're on. You might not be on COM4. You may be on COM1 or whatever. Whatever it is, it'll be there. So let's click the arrow, and you see your blink program right there blink.ino let's go ahead and click it okay and that's our code if you click on this little arrow or if you even hover over there show you what it is that's the good thing about the Eclipse Arduino version 
if you hover over any of your functions it'll tell you exactly what it's doing I just love this because of that and there's a lot of other good things now I'll be going over that in an upcoming book <laughs> just experiment and play with it but what we want to do right now is get through this real quick let's go ahead and verify it and this is what's going to tell you if everything went fine i'm going to guess that everything is fine because i don't see no errors or anything but that it's possible that it could still go wrong so let's click verify Okay, it did go wrong, and I expected that. So let me show you. Okay, this is this error. You may run into it. This error is a monster if you don't know how to get past it. Now, it is on a lot of my other videos, but we're going to go through it now. Okay. Now, if you remember, go back to our Google. Okay. Now, if you remember, we went here. It's a DLL file, so it don't take that long. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to that folder. Okay. So, what you want to do is extract it. Okay, so I'm going to extract it here. So I'm going to go 7-zip, extract here. Okay, and as you can see, it pops right up. I'm going to put it in a folder. And I'm going to name it new MYS. Okay. Okay, I'm going to cut and paste it into my new MYS folder. Okay. Now, it's in there. Let's go ahead and cut this folder. Now, you should have an AVR folder and it should be in your C file so let's go ahead and go back to our C file I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about so in your C file you should have a WinAVR folder because it should have loaded with your Eclipse download okay now if you don't have it let's go ahead and do it now okay what you would do is you will go to help you will go back to Eclipse marketplace okay wait for it to load and you're gonna type win AVR now this install it never really goes out of you know it never changes really so you want to review the license and you want to click finish okay and then after that you should be good okay so once you get that done it's still a problem so let's go to the win AVR file don't know what happened there so let's go to our C file your win AVR file is going to be here now it might be this one it might be this one but more than likely it's this one I just took the dash whatever that is off so click on whatever you have okay then once you get to your win AVR you want to go down to utils you want to go into the bin okay now I've been playing around with this a little bit, so let's see. There's nothing in there. So let's go ahead and go back to utils 
you want to paste your folder that we just copied or cut in the bins folder for your utils. Then click on bin. As you can see, it's there, new MYS. Same time, you want to click new folder and actually title it all MSYS, whatever you want to call it. And then you want to go down and you're looking for your DLL, your MSYS-1.0 dot DLL. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on the first one, click on your CTRL button and click on the second one or you could just cut them separately and paste them. Okay, so I'm going to cut them and I'm going up to my OMSYS. I'm clicking on it and I'm pasting it in that folder. Why? Because there's something wrong with that DLL and that's what's causing the problem. So we want to go to the one that we got from the 8.1 compilation error from AVR Freaks. And we want to copy that one out of that folder. This is our new one. And we want to go back to Utils. And we want to paste it into Bin. Okay. Now it should be in there. Let's go ahead and visually check. And there it go. MSYS-1.0.dll. And that's the new one. So... Let's go ahead and bring that down and let's go back to our Eclipse. Okay, so what we want to do at this point is click on project and clean because we want to clean the project because now it's fine <laughs> with that new DLL. And let's go ahead and check our code again. So we're going to click verify. As you can see, we're running. And there's no errors, and we are good. That's what you want to see. You want to see all that pretty code just flying up. And the build finished. Finished building target one. So now we can upload it. So we want to click on the arrow, upload sketch. And we want to build before upload, yes. And we're good. And when you see verifying AVR whatever, AVR do done, thank you. That means that you have a great install. And that's going to be coding with style. If you are using the Arduino ID, you're going to find this as a treat. So let's go ahead and do some more coding. I'm going to go ahead and get this posted as soon as possible because there are some really nice things that's going on with this one. Okay, let's bring that down. And I actually like how quick it was to get installed, how quick it was to actually get rid of this problem. Okay, remember, you want to go to AVR Freaks, Windows 8.1 compilation error, and you want to look in your AVR Utils bin folder and change that DLL in order to get rid of this error. Okay, because that error could be a monster if you don't know how to get rid of it for the Arduino Eclipse version. If you have any problems, go ahead and email me at ebonynerd45 at gmail.com or post it in the comments and I'll try my best to get to it and let you know what's going on. But as far as this goes, I don't see how there should be any problems. I want to say have a great rest of your day. Happy building. Happy coding. Today was a great day to learn something. Bye-bye. I am Ebony Dick and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.